Well, I was jazzing. I kind of knew this would happen, but I can't not say anything just because I'm an asshole like that. But I had two different smart asses message me directly saying that what I said in the Idaho 4 video could get people hurt, this and that. No, the fuck it can't. First of all, I'm allowed to question what I want. And you can't not question that girl now. If you don't question her now, you're a fucking idiot. That girl was awake. Okay? She supposedly opened the door three times. Ethan was... His throat was cut. That thud was him hitting the ground, probably. If she looked out that last time when he was walking by, she would have seen clear as day Ethan's body on the floor. I don't care if every light in the house was out, you'd still see it. Plus the fact that your heart would be racing a mile a minute, you would not be able to sleep even if you shut that door. The entire house would be quiet. Now, if nothing else, she could have called the other roommate downstairs. Or called her mother. Called somebody. Her story is not believable now, and I don't give a damn what you people think. And you want to come at me for stupid shit? Fuck you. You're, you're ridiculous. You can't ignore things that are about as obvious as hell. I mean, you can't. If she's innocent, so be it. It doesn't stop the fact that you, you can't question things. Her story is full of shit right now, and it makes no sense to me. I mean, it doesn't. And you can't tell me. I don't give a damn if you were so fucking scared that you're not going to do anything. You would at least use your phone. First of all, you know how women are in their damn phones. You just... And Xana would have been... Yeah, Xana would have been making noise. So, you supposedly going into the room, shutting the door, and then not doing shit could have just, you know, costed some people their lives. But I don't believe that story now because it's starting to just straight up sound like bullshit. And if he just walked right by you, with you being the only bedroom straight across from that room, you don't think that he would open that door? Now, if you guys didn't know, if they didn't know each other, I don't know. He would not have not done something to her if he's seen her. Unless he knows her. It's just, that story has fallen to shit. And I'm not going to change my opinion because someone wants to yell at me like a child. Cause I, I don't care. You want to be one of these people that sit in the background and just shut your goddamn mouth? Then you do that. But I've watched way too many of these situations where these people that you think are their friends are behind these things. And she's not helping that situation any. Not that I'm blaming her, but I'm saying what she's doing is putting a lot of speculation in her way. And I mean, you literally would have heard all that. Obviously, the girls upstairs were making noise because you said you heard the dog situation going on. So that's probably, there was probably other things that you heard. Because if Ethan heard it, and that's why he came out the door. And then he just didn't have a shot in hell because it happened too quick. There was obviously a lot of noise going on, and that, I, I, that's what I thought from the beginning. There was no way that no noise was made. I mean, there's just no way. Even if you stab someone straight in the side, they'd make a noise. But Xana would have been yelling. You could have called the police right then, you know? They could have been there in split seconds and possibly saved her life. Or the moment you heard somebody upstairs, you could have called, you know? Using the excuse that you were scared is, is just pathetic at this point. You know, I, I just don't buy it. I don't. And I don't give a damn what these people are saying to me because they can kiss my ass because I'm... It's just stupid. This is four people's lives that were just completely obliterated when this one person could have saved some of them. If she doesn't have more into it than, than we know. It's awfully weird that Xana and Ethan didn't even live there at the time. But yet he knew to come that day, and he didn't kill one of the girls that actually lived there. 
That, that makes no sense. That makes no fucking sense at all. It, it just doesn't. Ethan was just visiting. Zan had already moved out. And they just happened to be there that night. And if he was stalking the house, he would know who lived there. And he would know that that other girl lived there. And he hadn't taken care of her. So it's, it's, it just doesn't make any damn sense. So get pissed off all you want. She needs to start answering. I mean, it'll come out in court. But her story is just not flying anymore. It's, it's not at all. I know women. You would have been on that goddamn phone within seconds. Texted nonstop. I mean, if she wasn't texting the roommates that were having, that she was hearing screaming, then she's definitely got something to hide. Why was she not calling these four roommates when she was hearing these noises? It it just, uh, I don't know. I'm not going to sit and kiss ass to people because I think that's fucking dumb. These were people's lives. These were people's kids. Her feelings right now, I don't really give a damn about. I would be all over her ass right now if that was one of my kids. It just, it it completely makes no sense. I mean, it just crossed my mind this morning when I was thinking about all this that whatever she said she supposedly saw him walking by, she would have saw Ethan right there. The d- diagram of the house shows you that it's right across the room. It's, they're not huge houses. They're straight across from each other. You would see a body on the floor. And I still don't buy that fucking fact that between, what, eight hours? Dead silence in the house and you wouldn't have made an effort to look outside your door? That bullshit. That's a lie. That is a fucking lie and I don't care. Hell, she could have even walked in these rooms and seen all this stuff. And then just didn't say it because she didn't want to get involved. But it's not making sense now. And it's not going to surprise me now if we find out the other girl was awake during this too. I know she's just completely out of it and nobody said a damn word about her. So I'm sure that that's all bullshit. And she probably was sitting right there talking to her or in the room with her. You know, if these girls are your friends... I don't care how scared you are, you can still make a phone call to the police. You can do it without even speaking, for God's sakes. You can just dial the number, they can trace your phone, and they would have been there. They might have been able to stop some of it. But no, you chose to act like a child. No, sorry. I'm just, I'm just not kissing her ass. I'm not. There's no reason in that. But I'm also a more more of a good friend to people than than most people have been to me because I would never, I don't care what situation was going on, I would have been out of that door. I would have grabbed anything known to man. I know just because I'm a man I can say that, but I fucking would. I just, how could you live with yourself the rest of your life knowing that you possibly could have done something that could have saved a little bit of time and possibly saved one of their lives? But instead... You didn't. And then your story started jacking up, and now you're looking more and more guilty by the day. And now if we hear this other girl was in the same room with her, then I'm really going to start cussing, because then we got some issues here. I mean, being a bad friend is, is not the, the, the bad issue here, but lying to cover your asses and not calling just because you want to pretend like you're scared. You can't say that. You were in a situation where your heart would have been racing nonstop. And you were going to, you were hearing Xana probably crying. I'm going to sneeze. Xana was probably crying and then nothing. I don't, I don't know, maybe Ethan didn't have a chance to say anything, but even if he said something, then went quiet. So you heard Xana, you would have had to have heard Xana, I don't care what you say, but... And then the house goes completely dead silent when he walks out the door, and you're trying to say, you shut that door, and that's, that's, where, the, that's where the story ended. Yeah, bullshit. That's a fucking lie. I mean, that just is. That's a lie. 
anybody with a, with a brain would have looked out the door. And I mean, you should have already seen Ethan. I don't know. Her story is just straight up falling apart. And I'm not trying to be mean about it. I'm just those two people that were trying to tear my ass up, literally, in the in the dumbest way too. I mean, if you're gonna do an argument, at least put some freaking effort into it. It was just dumb. I don't believe her. And if they didn't do it like an alcohol test on her the next morning whenever they first got there then those cops failed at that because they should have you know you only had two roommates left in the house you still had to do everything that was normally done in a case just in case in the future that you need that information you might have thought they were telling the truth at the beginning but you, that still doesn't mean you don't do your job <coughs> and if they were totally sober to me, that's even worse. Because you can dial 911, lay your phone down, turn the volume down, and they will still come to your house. And that would have been it. But you chose to do nothing. I mean, literally nothing. And now four people. At least two of them could have been possibly saved at that point. But then you, you never know. The girls upstairs might have been alive for a while. Eight hours later, I guarantee you they wouldn't be if they were bleeding out. But I'm sure they couldn't make noise or anything because they were probably hurting. I just think that's, it's, she's got explaining to do, basically. You know, she is going to have to face this guy in court unless she chickens out. But I would hope to God that she wouldn't. I mean, she's already failed her friends, so she could at least do that. But that's if we don't find out that she has a part of it. Yeah, you know how many videos I've seen of, like, girls dragging their best friends out in the woods and then freaking killing them and setting them up for things. It is, you can't leave that possibility out because people are freaking nuts. And I don't trust anybody, so I, I just, I'm not going to ignore someone just because they were a victim at one point. I mean, it doesn't mean that she was a victim this entire time. I mean, she might look like a victim, but she might not be the victim. He might have got in that house because of her information. They could even be dating. There could be all kinds of things going on there, but the whole victim shaming shit and you shouldn't do it, yeah, whatever. You go ahead and do that all you want. I'll continue to say what I want to say because people are sneaky. That's just, that's plain and simple. If you can seriously sit there and say that you believe what she says now, 100%, you're a liar. <coughs> God, I'm getting sicker and sicker, so I need to quit bitching and go to bed. But I just wanted to say that because those two assholes pissed me off. But I didn't argue with them. I, just, I didn't even respond to them because I was like, I'm not going to play this game. You know, you guys are fucking childish. If you want to believe everything someone says, you have at it. You'll learn. I, it took me a while to learn, but, you know, I trusted people way too much. And by God, they showed me exactly how they work so you could hug me and kiss me and talk to me nicely and stare me in the eyes them son of a bitches will still backstab you so I just don't trust anybody nowadays so and I definitely don't trust her now because that, that story has fallen apart so bad that it's, I don't, it's not even recoverable but we'll see so I'll quit bitching about it but it just pissed me off so sorry see ya